I want to talk about how definite integrals can be used to find area. First of all, there are two basic kinds of area problems. First, the area between y equals f of x, some curve, and the x-axis from x equals a to x equals b. That situation looks like this. Say this is your graph of y equals f of x. If your graph, if your function is entirely non-negative on this interval, that is if it's above the x-axis, then the definite integral will give you the area exactly. However, if your function y equals f of x is down here, if it's below the x-axis, if it's non-positive, the definite integral does not give you the area, it gives you the opposite of the area. So if you're looking for this area, you can use the definite integral, but you just have to remember to flip the sign. You're going to get a negative number, you should make it positive. So uh, just keep that in mind. When the function's negative, you'll get the opposite of the area. When it's positive, you'll get the area. And then the second problem is the area between two curves. So let's say our two curves are y equals f of x and y equals g of x, and we're interested in the area between x equals a and x equals b, and here's the situation. Uh, y equals f of x is the higher of the two curves, y equals g of x is the lower, so that's what I've said here. When f of x is greater than or equal to g of x on the interval, the area, this area here, this band, is going to be equal to the area under y equals f of x. That's all the area under this curve and above the x-axis, minus the area under y equals g of x. That's this area here. So take the whole area, subtract this away, and each of those areas can be represented by integrals. So this is the area under f of x, this is the area under g of x, and we subtract. Of course, it turns out that you can write this difference of integrals as the integral of the difference of the functions. So, you can so in one integral, you can get the entire area between two curves. It's the integral from a to b, from left endpoint to right endpoint, of top function minus bottom function. And we'll use this in upcoming problems.